Welcome to the colorful world of bromeliads. I'm Tori Peck with Kent's Bromeliad Nursery, and I'm gonna take you through the steps on how to take care of these beautiful, beautiful blooms that last a long time. Although bromeliads look exotic, caring for them is a lot less complicated than you might think. With just a little bit of care, these beautiful blooms will last you a long time. Bromeliads come in a number of varieties and different colors. They're perfect for your home, your office, or your home office. Kent's Bromeliad Nursery is the largest bromeliad nursery in the U.S., and we grow over a hundred varieties, hybrids that are perfect for growing indoors. I'm gonna show you a few simple steps to help you keep your bromeliad gorgeous. Why don't we start with where to put your bromeliad? They love bright light, but not direct sun. It's a little too intense for the hybrids, especially the Acmeas and the Guzmanias. They do best in a south or west facing window. Make sure you put your plant in a well ventilated area. They need lots of CO2 and nitrogen to give us oxygen back. And they like the temperature between 50 and 80 degrees. Because bromeliads are considered tropical, you might think they need a lot of water, but actually they don't. They kind of thrive on neglect. You'll want to let your plant dry out between waterings. It's okay for the soil on the bottom to stay damp, but you'll want the soil on top to stay nice and dry to the touch. Now here's the secret to watering your bromeliad. You'll want to move your plant to the sink. You'll start at the top and pour into the cups. Keep pouring until it fills up and flows down and dampens the soil below. In the summer, when it's a little warmer, you'll want to water your bromeliad every seven to nine days. And in the winter, when it's a little cooler, about every 10 to 14 days. One thing these tropical plants love is humidity, at least 50 to 70%. And that is lacking in our homes where we have heating and air conditioning. So you'll want to mist your plants with a water mister at least once or twice a week. Bromeliads have new baby plants called pups, and they grow alongside the mother plant. And if you'd like to grow your own plants, we have all that information on our website. Kent's Bromeliad Nursery will guide you through all the steps on how to separate the pups from the mother plant. And we'll give you lots of great secrets, like how to pick the best soil for perfect drainage. We want you to love your bromeliads the way we do.